Hi everybody, this is Dan Talk Sense, and today I'll be doing a full review of the latest Flancra Spice Balm, it's called Infrared. In today's review, I'll tell you how close it gets to the original Spice Balm, the performance projection is fragrance, and make a conclusion on whether I think this is a good release from the house of Victor and Ralph. If you want to know more about this fragrance, then please stay tuned. Welcome back. Now if this is the first time dropping into my channel, my name's Dan, I'm a fragrance enthusiast from the UK and I've been running my channel now for about a year. If you enjoy the content that you see today, I kindly ask that you hit that subscribe button down below as there'll be more content like this coming up in the next few weeks. Now going back to this review, I was extremely excited about reviewing Infrared because I'm a massive Spice Bomb fan. If you've been watching my channel since the very beginning, you'll know that I own multiple bottles of the original Spice Bomb. I just think the DNA is absolutely beautiful and it's still really good today in this day and age I think it's still relevant and nice I was really disappointed when Victor and Ralph released Night Vision last year the EDT and the EDP I said in my impressions of, of Night Vision that I felt that they've gone away from their original DNA they've gone with the run-of-the-mill sort of Invictus DNA now I'm delighted to tell you that with infrared they've gone back to their original roots with that nice fruity and spicy DNA and just to emphasize, I've been collecting Spice Bombs since it first came out in 2012. And in my opinion, there's been a difference in batch codes. When it got to around the year 2016, they changed the batch code. It originally started with the number three. They went to start with the number six. And I feel that they added a bit more pepper to the formulation, made it, tweaked it a little bit, and they actually reined in the um, performance and projection. The very original batches of Spice Bomb were a lot fruitier. And I feel that with infrared, for red victor and ralph have gone back to that very original fruitier dna though the notes in this one you've got some of the notes that were used in the original spice bomb so you will pick that familiar dna up you've got that tobacco you've got the saffron the cinnamon but you've got this really nice chili note that they've added in there and it's really nice when you first spray it on you really pick up that chili it just smells really really like kind of unique and quite fiery it's, it's i would imagine Versace and um, eros would smell like um if you know the um the eros flame it's sort of like a really nice touch to it nice kick to it now the red fruits is the standout performer of this one for me it smells like candy like sweets when you spray it on like when you look at red fruits you look, you're talking about strawberries raspberries cherries those types of fruits and you really do pick up this lovely fresh fruity candy vibe when you spray it on your hand and in the first hour or two that's what you're getting and then when it dries down it goes back to its familiar spice bomb dna a little bit of the tobacco comes in and just that nice saffron and cinnamon comes into play so you'd be really happy if you like the original spice bomb dna now the questions that people are asking and all the forums and all the comments whenever anybody talks about the new infrared release is does it smell like the original uh, and I think I've answered that question and the other questions are about performance and projection. Now in my experience awareness, been wearing this the last couple of days it stays in, in kind of a moderate scent bubble um, throughout the day so I could smell it on my skin for a good six to seven hours and the scent bubble is moderate and lasts for about two to three hours so it's quite quite average in terms of um, projection in terms of performance it's solid it lasts me the duration of the day when I analyse Spice Bomb Infrared and, I, and I, I look at whether it's a solid release from Victor and Ralph, I take into consideration the performance projection and the sun itself and what type of occasion I'd wear this for. Now for me, I'd wear the Spice Bomb original for if I was going on a date and I wanted to make an impression because I just think that that is a perfect date scent and it really, you know, whenever I've gone on dates, um, people that I've gone on dates with have really enjoyed that uh, that scent and really enjoyed the fragrance. I think Spice Bomb Extreme is one of the best winter fragrances ever made and it really cuts through that cold air. I think that where Spice Bomb Infrared will come into play is in the daytime 
when I'm socializing, going out um, with friends for drinks in the daytime, or if I'm wearing it in the daytime and I want people to, to enjoy what I'm wearing, I'm definitely gonna be wearing this in work and I'm sure that this is gonna get me compliments. I'm actually off for two weeks now for the Easter break, but when I go back into work, I will put in the comments down below what my work colleagues think of this. I am truly honest with my uh, with my reviews. If I don't get any compliments, I won't pretend that I've got compliments, but if I do get compliments, I do ensure that I tell people that I've got a positive feedback from the fragrance. And I do believe that this will give me positive feedback because it's just one of those really nice um, scent characters. I think, in my opinion, this is a really solid release. I'm really pleased because um, I just love the house of um, Victor and Rolf. Um, all the you know majority of the fragrances I bought from the house have been, have been really good. My only disappointment was that night vision. I felt that it was just generic DNA and really spoiled the the line. But with this, they've really made up for it. I think they've listened to YouTubers. They've listened to Fragcom. They've seen what people saying about that DNA, saying that they've they've gone away from their original DNA. They've gone back to their original DNA and they've they've smashed it. Uh, I've got to say, guys, they've smashed it. It's just a really nice. Really nice um, scent, really good release, and this potentially could be one of the releases of 2021 because they took what was good about the the original DNA with that um, with the tobacco, the cinnamon, and the saffron, um, but they've added this modern twist. The chili note in this is really good. It's something a bit daring and um, that they've tried. It's really worked. It just we pick up that nice that nice chili note in there in the top and the red fruits. So just gives it a modern twist. Uh, it makes it. Little bit more summery, I'd say. Um, I just can't wait to wear this when I'm out and about and people can actually smell me. And, and when we don't have to wear our masks anymore, we don't know, but it's looking like in June um, in the UK um, when restrictions are totally lifted, it may be a case we don't have to wear masks anymore. If that's the case, um, we can really enjoy each other's scents again. Now, I hope that was enjoyable. If you enjoyed the content today, then as I say, if you could hit the subscribe button down below. Um, I'm gonna do a, re a review of the latest Armani Code Eau de Parfum um, probably tomorrow. So if you're interested in that fragrance, that should be dropping tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed my review today. I hope it was helpful. If you like the original Spice Bomb DNA and you wanna know about the different batch codes, then check out my video where I explain the difference in uh, batch codes between the different um, Spice Bomb originals because there's a definite difference between the batch codes that started with the number three and the batch codes that started with the number six. But if you want any more information or you want any help in finding an original Spice Bomb, then just let me know in the comments down below and I'm happy to help you and point you in the right direction. But Going with this one, I'll grade this probably about an eight out of 10. I think it's a solid, solid release. A modern twist on the original Spice Bomb. I'm really pleased that I have it in my collection. Thank you for spending the time to watch my video. Thanks for listening. Um, I'll speak to you all very soon.